Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time for us to get started right here. This show is called Cruising with the Case Handler. I am in New York City, and I'm very elated to get all of this started. This is a show on personal injury and immigration. It's brought to you by the law offices of Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco, and we know them as PPID. My colleague Adam Handler and I initiated this earlier this year to make sure that there was no void in the Caribbean community when it comes to people getting help from, of course, attorneys. So personal injury, immigration, yes, that's the prevalence on the show. However, that's not all the firm is all about. You're talking about a firm that's been around for just about 60 years. You can't beat that. I don't play two, meaning I don't play coming in second. I am one of those individuals. I believe in coming in first, no matter what. I will fight tooth the nail. I'll spend every dollar I've got just to be number one and also to make sure that you're getting the best. So what have I done? I am giving you the best attorneys possible in the tri-state area, in the area of personal injury and immigration. Now, it's very important that you take the number starting now, 844-774-3529. I will introduce my colleagues in a few minutes, all right? As they prepare and join the show, we've got the Adam Handlers, the Nelson Madrid, Madrids, and the Conrad Pollocks, but we'll get to them in a few seconds or a few minutes, all right? Once again, the name of the show, Cruising with the Case Handler. That's Adam Handler himself and myself, and we have quite a few other attorneys. The show is on personal injury and immigration. However, here's what I want. This is very important. Everyone that's watching us on 93.5 FM, I need for you to join Facebook and check out my page and Adam Handler's page, also PPID's page. On Facebook, my page is David Squeeze Anarchy. Adam's page is the Case Handler. The firm's page is PPID. You can't miss it. So just put that in and you will, ladies and gentlemen, get connected as I fix this, all right? So please do that. Now, for everyone that's already on, and I'm gonna to check to see who is on Facebook because I'm gonna make big shout outs to everyone that's on Facebook, all right, before we get to the attorneys. This is the important part. I want everyone to share to at least 10 individuals timeline. Share what it is that you're watching here on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen, with all your friends. I say 10, but try and share it on all your friends page, especially people that you know need help in the capacity of personal injury or immigration. Once again, share. Now you can simply just go to the bottom of your, um, the screen that you're watching, okay? And you will see that share button with the arrow that goes the other way, okay? I'm asking you, please, to share to as many pages, as many groups, as many timelines. Want to say a pleasant good morning to Denisa, Denisa, Denisha Joseph. She's one of the first individual to log on, and she has already shared. Want to say good morning to the entire Squeeze team. These are the people who have built my following on Facebook to over 200,000. This is the reason why we do the show, to reach out to people who need help out there. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, please share, 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 okay? There are many people out there. There are millions of people out there who need help in the capacity of immigration. There are millions of people out there who will get hurt this year, ladies and gentlemen, and you need to have the best attorney when you get hurt in an accident, that being on the job, medical malpractice, and much more as to which we'll get into this morning right here. Also want to remind everyone, the new time for the show is 9.30 a.m. in New York on WVIP-FM and also on Facebook. And we have other uh, social media platforms coming along. Ruti, um, Alisa, Tracy, and myself, and Adam, we've been slacking. We have not been taking advantage of all the other platforms. Guess we can't take care of TikTok. <laughs> I'll let Conrad comment on that later on. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are here helping out each and every one. Share, share, share. Adam, I need for you to share. Um, Nelson, I need for you to share on Facebook. Everybody, please, we are begging you, share. Operative word begging you to share because this is a powerful show about getting all your immigration questions answered and you understanding why you will only need one attorney if and when you get hurt in an accident. You driving out there on the 678, on the 95, on the hutch, on whatever, highway you're driving on. It's potential that, it's, it's possible rather that you could get hurt in an accident. You will need Adam Handler, the case handler. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, as you all share on Facebook, David Squeeze Anarchy, the case handler, PPID's page, and also on 93.5 FM now joining us on Facebook to see what we look like and what we're about to talk about. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Cruising with the Case Handler, 9.30 a.m. weekdays right 
here. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce our panel, our forum right here in New York City. Um, well, I'll check in and find out where everybody is. But let me introduce the forum, very powerful attorneys and dear friends of mine. And how did they become my friends? Ladies and gentlemen, when I can pick up the phone and interrupt a Nelson Maverick, we call him the Maverick, any time of the day, on the weekends, with his family or not with his family, and he answers, that's my friend, okay? When I'm calling for you, when you call me up on my cell, squeeze, can you call your attorney friend? By the way, that's what they say. Call the Maverick, call the kick the shark, call your attorney friend. That's what they say. When I can do that with any of the attorneys, they are my friends. I've done that with Nelson. I've done it with Conrad. I've done it with Adam. And they pick up the phone every single time I call when I'm calling for you. Whether it's immigration or personal injury, they always pick up the phone. So they are my friends. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, Without further ado, let me introduce the cruising with the handler, the case handler team right now. Adam Handler, welcome to the show. How are you? Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Wow, you really warmed it up today. You really warmed it up. This is, I guess this is what happens when you start at 9.30 instead of 8.30. This you is what happens, but we're not playing anymore, man. You know, we're not playing anymore. All right? All right. Well, listen. You know, it uh, doesn't matter if it's at 8.30, 9 o'clock, or 9.30, when you got Adam Handler, you got David Anarchy, you got Conrad Pollock, you got Nelson Madrid all together. You know what we're doing, right? We are cruising with the case handler. We are attorneys, again, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico. Let me give out that phone number real quick, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774. 774-3529. We're here for you. We're here to answer your immigration questions for 100% free, no strings attached. We're here to answer your personal injury questions for free, no strings attached. We're here to do the great work that we've been doing for decades for the community that's embraced us. And we certainly want to give back 100% free phone consultations, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a gimmick. There's no strings attached. We're here to help. We want to help. Let us help. Again, we are Pollock Pollock, Isaac and DeSico, otherwise known as PPID Law. And just as Squeeze was about to get up, I almost missed him. But Squeeze, we know for a fact that you are down with PPID. You know me. I'm down with PPID. Yes, Come on. Yes, yes. See, he didn't ask it the right way right there. You know that. Are means, you right? down with PPID? Come on. You know me. All right. <laughs> So yesterday we did um, just an immigration show. The day before that, we did just a personal injury show. We're trying to change up the format a little bit, keep it fresh, keep it interesting for everybody. But what's been consistent, no matter what time or what format we do, is the fact that we are here and we want to help you, right? That's our job. We are attorneys. We are a, a family-based uh, law firm. I'm a third-generation attorney. Conrad, my partner, is a second-generation attorney. He took over the practice from his father 36 years ago and has built it from only a few lawyers to literally the entire floor of a New York City Manhattan office. What we are doing here is truly remarkable. I handle the personal injury cases. I've been responsible for obtaining well over $120 million for my clients. That's tax-free money, life-changing money for life-changing injuries. Why? Because we understand you got one chance to get it right. When you get hurt in an accident, there are no redos. One chance only to get maximum compensation for your medical bills, your time out of work, and your pain and suffering. They call me the case handler. Why? We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But I am your boy. I'm the case handler. And I've joined Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico as a partner about six years ago. A lot of you folks out there listening in 93.5 FM may remember back in the day when I was uh, working at another full service law firm and I brought my practice to Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to make sure that my clients who are uh, mainly immigrants or family of immigrants had a place to go if their issue ever arised regarding legalizing their status in the United States. It was extremely important to me that I was not just sending my clients off to some immigration attorney that I wasn't affiliated with or wasn't familiar with. I needed to find an immigration firm, the top immigration firm in New York City to associate myself with. And that's why I went uh, with Conrad and Paul, Paul Gaisic Seco. Conrad, good morning to you, brother. Morning, how's it going? I'm, it's going great. I've been watching that Immigration Nation, man. That's uh, yeah. powerful stuff. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a powerful, uh, powerful show on Netflix. I, I'm halfway through it. 
Um, uh, it, to me, it's no surprise. I've seen and heard this stuff before, but um, I think it's eye-opening for those people that really haven't uh, been aware of what goes on behind the scenes at immigration, CBP, and uh, why there's such a call to uh, eliminate uh, ICE. Uh, now you understand why, although I don't necessarily uh, have a, an opinion at this point on whether you, ICE should be di dispensed with, but you see what they're capable of and you see the things that they do. And there are a lot of uh, Gestapo like borderlining uh, criminal. Well, what, what there, I, yeah. You just say that it's borderlining yeah. criminal what ICE is doing. And what, what I found interesting though, though is that ICE, you know, is really just the agency. They're a top, they, they receive orders from the top down. It's an administration based um, agency, in what they do because ICE was not acting um, the way they were acting and, and, and doing the same things they were doing uh, in prior administrations. It's really just this administration where they've changed tactics and quotas and things like well, that. Well, I mean, this, this, this type of stuff has been going on forever. I mean, they're, they're, it depends. So it's all political. It goes well, ebbs and flows over the years. I've been doing this for 30 something years. And, you know, I've seen it before. They used, it, instead of hit, hitting people, you know, four o'clock in the morning at their apartments, I remember back in the 80s and 90s, the, 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 well, it wasn't ICE at the time, it was immigration. They would show up at, at work sites, you know, at six o'clock in the morning or right when the shifts were ending, you know, and grab people as they were coming into work or leaving work, as opposed to going to their houses and terrorizing their children. Um, but, you know, this kind of stuff's been going on for a long time. But uh, it's certainly, I've never noticed it being as egregious as it's as it is right now and you know there, there's a reason you know and you hear it you know you hear these guys talking you know they think it's going to be a deterrent you know if we can i mean they're their way of thinking if we can really torture these people and scare the hell out of them you know maybe the, the word will filter back to their countries and to their neighborhoods back home and wherever they're coming from and people will think twice about coming here illegally you know that's that's part of the whole idea here is a deterrent so let let's scare the hell out of them you know, let's make life as bad as we possibly can for them. And uh, maybe they won't be coming here anymore. You know, okay. so. Well, well, listen, I want everybody out there. If you get some time, go check out Immigration Nation on Netflix, a show that it's a must watch. And also it segues into the fact that if there is anyone that's out there who have an immigration question, we have a powerful show, a powerful firm that will give you a 100% free phone consultation. It's now 942 on a Friday. If you stop what you're doing and you dial this number, I am guaranteeing you a 100% free phone consultation on immigration, ladies and gentlemen, or even personal injury, all right? If you call now, the number is 844-774-3529. Once again, it's free. An immigration consultation with an attorney on the phone, absolutely free. No, not on the air. No, not on Facebook. It's for free, one-on-one. -on -one. Let me give you the number. If you want to speak with an attorney for free, call now. Don't wait until later on. They're here now. Call. They'll speak with you off the air. Once again, the number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. This is Cruising with a Case Handler, a show on personal injury, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, on immigration. In a few, we're going to have Adam Handler uh, demonstrate one of his true success stories where he has helped an individual to, of course, you know, get a settlement, ladies and gentlemen, tax-free, because that person got into an accident. But before we do that, we must say good morning to John Jay, Nelson Madrid. Okay, love your shirt, man. How are you doing today, Mr. Maverick? Doing good. Doing well. Um, listen, actually, if I could jump in for a second, you know, just yesterday, we got a call about 9.30 p.m., uh, we have an emergency number set up where people can call us in case, God forbid, something happens uh, sometime in the evening or after hours. Um, and there was a gentleman who called because his brother had been arrested in a criminal matter. Um, the gentleman was concerned because he thought ICE would get involved. And, uh, you know, he was just unclear as to the process. You know, I spoke with him. I guided him. You know, I explained to him that obviously if his brother was arrested in a criminal matter, that's a state case. Immigration is federal. It's two different people. You know, there's nothing to do at the moment until immigration actually picks him up, if immigration picks him up. Um, if immigration has placed what's called a detainer on him, which is basically telling the state courts, don't release him. You know, we want him. They typically have 48 hours to pick him up. If they don't pick him up within those 48 hours, he's then released. 
Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. You know, I mean, the gentleman asked again, is there anything you can do? No, there's nothing I can do. You know, um, I'm, I'm, that's just how I work. You know, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell him the truth. Um, I told him, I said, if immigration gets involved at any point, you give me a call. But as of the present, it's very premature. There's nothing I can do at the moment. So that's, that's for being very straightforward. And that's Nelson Madrid. He's an attorney. He's got 13 years of experience, ladies and gentlemen, in immigration. He's one of the attorneys that you could speak with for free. Yes, but you got to call before the top of the hour. Once again, if you want to speak with an immigration attorney, this is what he's saying to you. Call 844-774-3529. 120 seconds away from personal injury with the shark, a.k.a. the case handler, a.k.a. the man who has settled well over $120 million for his clients, tax-free, regardless of where you are, as long as you get hurt here in New York or New Jersey, this man is all about helping you. But let's pop an immigration question quickly right here and cruise it with the case handler before we get to him. Uh, here's a question. <clears throat> I have a question. We got a case FE review note that said petitioner does not meet the minimum income requirement to sponsor the intending immigrants for this case. To avoid delays and an additional affidavit of support form, I-864 for a joint sponsor may be submitted. I-864 and other documents have been accepted by NBC. We didn't add any household member yet as we thought we sufficiently meet the income requirements. So can a household member main sponsor's husband be added now instead of joint sponsor and i read that verbatim uh nelson i'm sorry i really didn't follow that question um the anytime a person petitions for another that person's financials need to be disclosed so hypothetically if you're petitioning for your wife you always have to complete and provide an affidavit of support or a form i-864 uh, with that, you have to provide supporting documentation, such as three years of tax returns, employment letter, and typically three or four recent pay stubs. If okay. your income is not enough, then yes, you need a joint sponsor. And the joint sponsor is basically providing pretty much the same things you've provided. Uh, but the joint sponsor, obviously, their income should hopefully suffice and should be enough to satisfy the USCIS. I hope oh, that yeah. answered the question. You you did, yeah. That was right on point there, based on what it is I thought I understood from that. All right. Okay. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Cruising with a Case Handler. We're about to get to Adam Handler. Adam Handler happens to be a partner in the firm. He runs the personal injury department. However, before we get to my man, my friend, okay, the shark, the case handler, we would like to remind you, get yourself a 100% free immigration phone consultation with one of the attorneys by calling this number. It will be free phone consultation. So when you call it, the number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Once again, dial now, 844-774-3529 and reach out to PPID, Paula Pollock, Isaac and Nisiko, the firm that's helping thousands of people each and every single year. Let's go to Adam Handler, the case handler, and I'm quite sure he has a true success story right here in cruising with a case handler. Adam. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much. You know, uh, we, we're in a different uh, t time slot, so we may have some different listeners. And, you know, I just want to introduce myself once again. My name is Adam Handler. I'm a partner of the firm. I do handle the personal injury cases, as you said, Squeeze. You know, Squeeze, you and I, in one form or another, have been doing a show like this for now over 15 years, which is yep. incredible. And, uh, you can fact check me on this. Would you say I'm the longest running attorney on this station? You're the longest running consistent attorney on the station. That's a fact, facts. Okay. And uh, would you also say that I am the most celebrated personal injury attorney? I don't have in, to the, in the Caribbean community. Everyone knows that you are truly the most celebrated attorney in the Caribbean community. And uh, I will add, you have settled $120 million plus for Caribbean clients mostly. So you the man. Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. So I, I, I wanna bring up this, this case and we, we come back to it often. It's an older case, but you know, it, it's, it's a case that's very, very close to my heart. Um, it's a, a client uh, named Morris, Morris J. Uh, you may remember him. He used to go by the name Apache. He used to run a dollar van. Yep. And uh, 
uh, he would offer for free basically to, to, to run signs on the side of his van saying uh, Adam Handler, personal injury attorney. I never took him up on that, but he offered it. Um, he unfortunately passed away, but why he's so important um, is not only because he was just an amazing gentleman and a good friend and, and a supporter of, of my practice from the very beginning, um, but he was truly the uh, creator of the case handler name. Why? Um, because we helped him out with a case before and he came back to us uh, for another case after he became injured. This is an old picture. This picture is from years and years ago. Look at baby Matt Goodstein right there and, and, and look at the young case handler. Look at his whole life right ahead of him in that picture. And that was before we had the big checks that we hold up now. We would give him the little checks and we'd hold it up. But if you would read that quote for me, please, I would be very grateful. No? Yes? Squeeze, you're on mute. Oh, okay. I see that. I see that. Okay. All right. Mr. Handler and his team are 100% excellent. I have had two different cases with Adam. The first case was a difficult slip and fall case a few years ago, but he fought it till the end and got me 260000 American dollars. He did the same thing for this case and worked just as hard till the very end. I have no hesitation in recommending Adam Two, listen carefully, everyone. His name is Adam Handler, and he will handle your case very well. Powerful lines right there, man. The $100,000 settlement. Yeah. Settlement, yeah, $100,000 on the ladder. Yep, uh, just just an, an amazing result, for full policy, but you know, and, and God rest his soul. You know, I asked him after the first case, I said, you know, thank you so much for coming back to our firm. Thank you so much. Um, for, for, for allowing us to be your attorneys yet again. And you know what he said to me? He goes, why wouldn't I? You handled the case. You're the case handler. And I remember saying, you know what? You're right. And Sandra, my, my paralegal, looked over me and goes, that's right. You're the case handler. And that was when we decided we would go forward um, using that name. Why? You know, it's not just gimmicky because my last name, you know, is handler. But it, it, it's, it's important to us to really uh, relay to everybody that we will handle your case like it's our most important case. Again, I'm a third generation attorney. Uh, my grandfather, my father, um, and, and my grandfather would always remind me, you know, when I was very small, be, before I was even an attorney, he would say, you know, good lawyers have many files. A client only has one. Make sure you treat your client like they're your most important client. And that's a mission statement that I've carried true uh, throughout my entire career. Maybe that's why you know we've been so successful because it doesn't matter if it's a small case or a large case. That, that client is counting on us to get them the maximum compensation for their injury. Because we said it before, there's no redos. You got one chance, one chance to get it right. And that's why we say one chance, one choice, your case handler. And I couldn't be any more serious like, uh, in saying that we truly want to help everybody out there, but it all starts with a phone call. We don't hang out at the accident scenes. We're not coming up to you in the emergency room. We play by the rules. So it's extremely important um, that you uh, listen to us, that you, you take our number down, that you save it, and that eventually, God forbid you ever need it, you use it because it's one less thing to worry about. You never know when an accident's gonna happen, but I can tell you, Many, many, many people have told me over the years, thank God I had your number saved. I didn't know what to do. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy to hear your voice. You walked us through it from the very beginning. I have people calling me from the accident scene saying, Mr. Handler, I've been listening to you on the radio for years. I just got in an accident. What do I do? And that's where the process starts from the very, very beginning. So ladies and gentlemen, if that's something that's important to you, if you believe in me, if you believe in Squeeze, if you believe in all the other DJs on this station, 93.5 FM, that have endorsed me for over for, for two decades now, you'll take that number down. Hopefully you never need it. God forbid you do. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. My name is Adam Handler. I am your case handler. And we at the firm at Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSego are here to help you answering your immigration questions for free, answering your personal injury questions for free, your real estate questions, your criminal defense questions, your matrimonial questions. You got a legal question, we got a legal answer and a legal solution. But you would be a fool to just sit on a question and not ask it. 
There's no such thing as a stupid question, only a stupid mistake. Please don't be the victim twice and make the mistake. Pick up the phone, give us a call, let us know what you need from us, and we will let you know how we can help you. Absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Handler, I'm reaching out to you via, of course, talking about personal injury and immigration. Now, once again, we must uh, appeal to you to dial that number, let it ring 10 seconds, all right? Okay, before I get to the next um, segment of our show, the immigration segment, I want every single one of you that's actually watching, listening to us on 93.5 FM, dial his phone number, 844-774-3529. Let it ring 10 seconds. This way it's locked in on his phone and you have it locked in as PPID or the case handler. Here's the number to dial now, 844-PPIDLAW. That's 844 844- Seven seven four three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. And Adam, yes, just brother. The I, just the way I saw that individual arm arms around your shoulder just now, man. All right, yeah, Apache. All right, I can tell you do treat people like their family, and I do respect you for that, man. I want to say oh, much respect. We we, right? we know one speed. Thanks a lot for being what it is that you have been for the Caribbean community. It's not manufactured, man. We do it with great pride and great love. Seriously, it's uh, it's just the way we do. Conrad Nelson. I mean, Nelson. Nobody's more passionate about fighting uh, for for immigrants uh, facing deportation than Nelson Madrid. I mean, Nelson, are you watching that ICE program? Do you, do you feel do you feel what do you feel personally when you watch? Um, that uh, on that Netflix special. And, so before you answer, and, but, and before you answer that, Nelson, maybe you can answer this along with that question. I'm applying for a U.S. green card and have a criminal record. Can I still apply? I'll let you. Again, you know, a, a criminal record, what does that mean? What type of conviction? What were you convicted of? How many convictions do you have? When were you convicted of these crimes? All of these are questions that I would need answered before I can give you an opinion. Oh, yeah. um, give us a call, 844-774-3529. Again, it's a free phone consultation. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, before I could give you an opinion on a question like that, I would first want you to obtain all certificates of dispositions yes. or all arrests. Uh, typically you go to the court where you were arraigned. So if you were arrested in Queens and you went to criminal court in Queens, you'd have to go to Queens to get a disposition. If you were arrested in the Bronx and arraigned in criminal court in the Bronx, you'd have to go to the Bronx and get the disposition. It's imperative you get all dispositions because obviously I would base my opinion based on what the information I was given. Um, if you don't tell me, immigration will know because they will eventually fingerprint you uh, prior to giving you any immigration benefits. So give us a call, 844-774-3529. Um, to answer your question, Adam, you know, I'm not a third or second generation attorney. I'm actually a first generation attorney. And one of the reasons I became an attorney is I realized attorneys are pretty powerful people, you know, and unfortunately I felt like my family was getting the short end of the stick many, many of the times. Uh, so as a way to protect my family, uh, not just my immediate family, but even my extended family and those in my community, I decided to go back to law school and become an attorney. Um, you know, and I actually had uh, a bad experience dealing with an attorney in the past. You know, I paid this attorney a lot of money and the attorney did nothing for me. And I said, if this guy could be a lawyer, anybody could be a lawyer. And that was one of the reasons I decided to go back to law school and, uh, you know, become an attorney. Um, watching the ICE documentary, you know, I, I, I just like to actually make a quick disclaimer. Um, I have a very good relationship with several ICE agents. Um, you know, not all, I, I don't know that that docuseries portrays the entire department um, in, in a good light. Um, but, you know, it, it's tough. It's definitely tough to watch. You know, I've watched one episode, two episodes at a time. I can't watch more. It's, it's, it's gut wrenching. All right. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, before uh, we uh, top it off on 93.5 FM, I want to say, people, you can switch over to um, Facebook. Thank you so much, Nelson, for breaking there for me to do this. Um, you can switch over to Facebook, ladies and gentlemen, at David Squeeze Anarchy or PPID or the Case Handlers page. But once again, more importantly, dial the number, store the number. You will need this firm 
sometime in the near future. The number is 844-774-3529. Share that number, text it to someone, 844-774-3529. I do it every day, 844-774-3529. It's 10 o'clock. All right. So we continue right here on the show, Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on personal injury and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, immigration. I want to say thanks to each and every one out there tuning in. And also the attorneys for being on this panel every weekday at 9.30 a.m. Uh, now, I asked a question earlier about applying for a U.S. green card and the person having a criminal record. What about the reverse? I'm a U.S. citizen and I have a criminal record. Am I allowed to sponsor my spouse for a green card? Conrad? Uh, sure. Or no, that's not, that has no effect on uh, on whether you want to sponsor a relative or anybody. Um, U.S. citizen, you can commit as many crimes as you like. You can you, and you can still sponsor whoever you want. You're not you want. encouraging anyone to commit crimes out, are you? You could be you could be a felon, you know, running from the law, and you could still sponsor your wife. But aren't there certain capacities in 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 the the criminal capacity rather? I mean where even if you're a U.S. citizen, um, that you cannot sponsor someone. At, I, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong in the area if I heard. That's for I, a K visa. Rape and molestation and all of that? Yes, that's an Adam Walsh. Okay. That's, uh, so there's actually a couple. You guys got to send me to law school. There, there's, 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 listen, there's actually a, that's a good question, by the way. Um, first of all, um, if you have a criminal record, depending on the record, you can't file a K visa for someone. The other uh, instance is if you've been convicted of child abuse or child molestation, um, you need a waiver. And uh, it's often obviously referred to as the Adam Walsh waiver. Basically, you have to demonstrate beyond a reasonable doubt that you are not likely to offend or reoffend um but it's a very tough it's an uphill battle but until you're able to convince to convince the uscis otherwise they will not approve your spouse's petition gotcha. so it's it's not something i, I mean if <laughs> this is really something i don't recommend you try to do on your own because it's very very in fact immigration lawyers refer to it as a unicorn okay it's very difficult for lawyers let alone for a non-lawyer to try to do this on your own. So right. if your spouse has ever been convicted of a sexual offense against the child, um, again, you will need what's called an Adam Walsh waiver. Um, and this is very, very complex. There's a lot involved. Gotcha. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the reason why we have the law firm PPID. See the depth of the attorneys there, the immigration attorneys, the personal injury attorneys. Once again, the phone number is 844 844- Seven seven four three five two nine. That's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. And uh, uh, set yourself a reminder on Alexa or Siri that the show starts at nine thirty a.m. weekdays right here on, of course, ninety three point five FM and Facebook and uh, elsewhere, as we will expound on later. Um, here's another one um, in the capacity of immigration. Hi, all my documents are accepted however nbc is still asking for irs transcripts when we requested for it it shows no record found irs has not processed the tax return yet what can i do that's a problem um i'm surprised that well first i, I want to know what years they're talking about in terms of irs transcripts um i mean if it's for this most recent year i mean they just filed for 2019 um uh, I don't know why the IRS wouldn't have the transcripts, but the fact is, if the if the NVC is asking for those transcripts, you're going to have to supply them. Um, you could you could tell them that uh, that you can't get them, and maybe supply other documentation from your accountant, other tax returns, job letters, bank letters. But bottom line is, if the NVC is asking for those things, unless you can convince, convince them that they don't need them, and you can supply alternatives, you've got a problem. So squeeze, and just to expand on what Conrad said, IRS, tan IRS tax transcripts are basically documents directly from the IRS that show that you've actually filed your taxes. Right. Um, when you recently filed your taxes, for instance, many of us filed our taxes now in July, those IRS tax transcripts may not be available. It's too soon. It takes them some time to process. 
Now, as Conrad said, you know, if they're old IRS tax transcripts, I mean, I've gotten tax transcripts for the last 10 years for some of my clients. So if the IRS doesn't have them, that likely means you didn't file taxes. You right. could have prepared taxes, but your taxes were never actually filed. And that's one wow. of the reasons CIS likes to see tax transcripts. It's basically a receipt from the IRS confirming that your taxes were in fact filed, received and processed by the IRS. Yeah, the fact that the NBC is requesting those transcripts indicates that they might not be believing that these people have filed taxes as they might have claimed. So, All right. Once again, folks, this is Cruising with a case, and I want to say a pleasant good morning to each and everyone. Once again, if you're just joining us, I want to say thanks to all the people who have started watch parties. Okay, it's great. We do appreciate that. This is a show brought to you by the law firm of Paula Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, PPID. It's a show on personal injury. It's a show on immigration. And the phone number, once again, for every single one watching the show, okay, to store. Dial it. Let it ring 10, 15 seconds. The number is 844-774-3529. You will get a free phone consultation. But what's important is that you hire these powerful attorneys at this powerful firm, PPID. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Three five two nine. I've got a couple of questions in the area of personal injury, though. Um, a couple. So, Adam, let me finish. One. Yes, brother. Do you help in the capacity of uh, workers' comp cases? Okay, someone called me up personally, and I told them to call you. That's one. Yes. If it, Two. Yeah. Do you handle medical malpractice? Um, yeah. Three. When you say accident, is it just automobile accident? Okay. All right. And four. We need for you to talk also quickly about statute of limitations with filing a case. Sure. So let me see if I can remember all these questions. So with respect to workers' compensation cases, let's just talk about what is workers' compensation. Workers' compensation essentially um, is the case that must be brought if you're hurt on the job. Now, if you're hurt on the job, you cannot sue your employer. Your sole remedy is going through workers' compensation. Uh, we, as a firm, do not actually handle the workers' compensation cases. However, there's a firm that we do work very, very closely with that handles the workers' compensation case for our client, who usually also has an injury case. Because a lot of times you can get hurt on the job, but have somebody to go after other than your employer. They call it a third-party bodily injury case. And that's what we pursue. So we work uh, in a tandem with this other law firm. Uh, they send us the cases and that their clients are injured uh, and have a third party case. We send them our clients that have a workers' compensation case. Uh, with respect to medical malpractice, yes, we do. Um, we've obtained millions of dollars for medical malpractice victims. What is medical malpractice? Medical malpractice uh, is not just you're unhappy with your, your result with your doctor. No, medical malpractice is a much higher, tougher standard. You basically have to prove that your doctor or the health provider deviated from the accepted standards of medical practice, did something that no doctor should ever do, or didn't do something that any reasonable doctor would do. It's not just sloppy medicine. It's a deviation from the standard of care. And we do, ha we do help uh, victims of medical malpractice. Uh, statute of limitations. Uh, what is that? Statute of limitations essentially is the time in which you have to bring a lawsuit. And it depends heavily on the type of case and the state you're in. For example, in New York, the statute of limitations for a negligence case is three years. However, there are exceptions for that. What are the exceptions? Exception number one, if it's a medical malpractice case, it's only two and a half years. All right. Exception number three, what if you have to go against the state of New York or the city of New York or a municipality, a government entity? You don't have three years. You have one year and 90 days to bring that claim, bring the case actually, the lawsuit. Um, so it's extremely important that no matter how you're hurt, whether it's on the job, off the job, uh, by the city, without the city, uh, that you call us right away so we can explain to you exactly what needs to be done and when it needs to be done. You never want to sit on anything. So nobody should be calling us at two years and 11 months saying, I want to bring a case. You call us right away and we help you. And I think the last question you asked was what kind of cases? Uh, we've handled almost every single kind of negligence case in our firm in the nearly 60 years of practice. Car accidents, 
slip and falls, trip and falls, construction accidents, nursing home negligence, um, uh, medical malpractice cases, dog bite cases, uh, boating cases, boating accident cases, uh, premises cases. You're sitting in your in your apartment, and all of a sudden the ceiling collapses on you. I mean, really, uh, negligent road design cases. We're suing the government because the road was was designed incorrectly and caused an accident. So we really have handled almost every type of accident and almost every type of injury. So if you want an attorney that's experienced in personal injury, that's been doing it for decades and decades and been very successful in doing so, again, I suggest highly that you keep our number and save it. God forbid you ever need it. 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID law. Absolutely. And that's, of course, the case handler. His real name is Adam Handler. He's an attorney with a firm and a partner there, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. He runs the personal injury department, has done a tremendous and phenomenal job for his clients. Well over $120 million settled. And I'm going to ask this one. I'm quite sure, you know, Conrad and Nelson might smile at this question in the area of immigration. Now, attorneys, I have heard people have said, it has been speculated, that if you're in the country as an illegal Im in immigrant for a certain amount of time, okay, that you can automatically get a green card. Is that true? I mean, we have heard this story and we have heard this so many times and I'm quite sure you have heard it, okay? Is that true in any way, shape or form? If only, right, Nelson? Well, uh, <laughs> what about registry? Reg registry is a process by which if somebody has been in the United States since prior to January 1st, get this, prior to January 1st, 1972 did they update the date to 82 or 72 i don't remember it's been i don't so long. i don't i, I don't know anyway, thought... registry is if you've been present in the united states since prior to january 1st 1972 you can apply to get your green card you have to demonstrate you've been in the country every one of the years since then 1971 until 2020 and if you could do that assuming you're still alive uh you can apply for adjustment of status yes other than that that's about it. They're probably Nelson. What they're probably referring to is cancellation, which if you've been here for ten years and demonstrate extreme hardship, I'll, I'll, lay, I'll lay that over to you since that's more your expertise. Right. So there, there, there is something else um, that basically, if someone can demonstrate that they were physically present in the United States for at least ten years, um, and they can uh, demonstrate three requirements. The first is that you're a person of good moral character. The second is that you've been continuously physically present in the United States for at least 10 years. And the third would be that if you were to be deported, your parent, spouse, or child who is either a permanent resident or a U.S. citizen, child meaning under the age of 21, right. um, you are eligible for a green card. Um, but typically to apply for that relief, you have to be in removal proceedings. Um, if you are able to convince a judge that you satisfy all three requirements, you will get a green card. Yeah, a lot of people think, well, all I, I, I've been here for 10 years, so, you know, where can I pick up my green card? It's not <laughs> quite that simple. Right. Um, the 10 years is usually the easiest part. Oh, roll up in your office, man. Been here for 10 years. I need my green card. All right. Well, you'd be, you'd be surprised, Squeeze. We actually have clients who come to us who have met with other lawyers who have said, well, the other lawyer told me if I've been here for 10 years and I've got a United States citizen child, I'm eligible for a green card. That's yeah. not true. You know, that's not, they're selling you a dream. This a absolutely. Everything out in the open. All absolutely. Right? Abs they're selling you a dream. You know, um, in fact, there's a client now who we represent. Uh, they came to us, you know, I told them we couldn't help them. They went to another lawyer. The lawyer told them completely the opposite. Um, and ultimately, when they realized that the other lawyer lied, they came back to us. Um, We're going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear at PBI. Right. Well, right? a lot of a lot of times, clients, and you know, this is natural. You same with you go to a doctor. You know, a doctor tells you that you're going to live, whereas the other doctor told you you have six months to live. Um, yeah, people tend to go where they hear what they want to hear. Same thing with lawyers. You know, I, I mean, there are plenty of, Nelson and I can tell you plenty of times where clients have come to us and we told them the truth and said, sorry, but you don't have a case. And if you do this, you're going to cause yourself more grief, more trouble than you have right now. 
and they don't want to hear it. They don't believe it. They go to another lawyer and the lawyer tells them what they want to hear. And here, a perfect example of the case that Nelson's talking about. They went there, they went down that road, and they ended up finding out that, hey, Nelson, Pollock, they were right. And they came back to us because we told them the truth from the beginning. And a lot of clients, in fact, I think the majority of the clients that we have, I think they appreciate the fact that we don't pull any punches, especially that that's my thing. You know, you, you look at reviews, uh, you know, Google reviews of former clients of mine, and they talk about me. One thing they'll say is, you know, Pollock, he may not be the warmest, friendliest, fuzziest guy you ever met, but he doesn't pull any punches. He tells you what you need to know. And that's the truth. And I take pride in that. Absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, cruising with a case handler, personal injury, immigration, a phenomenal show again. In the next show, ladies and gentlemen, we want to speak about in the in the area of immigration, Nelson and uh, Conrad, respectively, Maverick and the Maestro, their nicknames, want to speak about naturalization, getting your citizenship and some of the uh, challenges you can come across, some of the questions that could potentially come up. We want to cover that also in the area of people who have had you know, um, felonies and criminal issues in relation to filing for your citizenship. Adam Handler, as usual, we want for you to bring the true success stories, demonstrate what it is that you have done for a people. You have done a phenomenal job. I want to thank you so much for, you know, helping me to put the show together where we have a, a full-fledged law show for the people right here on 93.5 WVIP FM and also now on social media. And I think we're, 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 we're breaking down borders and breaking down barriers. My pleasure. You know, I love it. I love getting the word out about the good work we do here at the firm. Um, you know, most important thing for me is family. Uh, and, and right under that is, is my profession. And uh, the guys that are on the show with me, uh, Nelson and Conrad, uh, are part of that uh, part of my part of that part of my life. And uh, they're my partners and they're great guys. And it's a privilege to work with them. And it's also a privilege to do this show with them. So thanks, guys. Let's continue to do the good work. Let's get the message out there as to what our firm does. Um, you know, because when we help our clients, everybody wins. Everybody yeah. wins. Our phone number again is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. I got to jump off. I got a client waiting to speak to me. Thank you so much. And we'll catch up with you guys on Monday. No problem, Adam. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we must remind you, Proud of not guarantee similar outcome. And this has been an attorney advertisement. But remember, 844-774-3529. Before I go, I want to say big shout outs, reaching out to Carol Anderson, the Tiger, Linda Shaw, and Denisa Joseph, and everybody that's on Facebook who have been sharing the page. All right, please, even after this, continue sharing the page. The show stays on the page. Um, and uh, make sure you also share the number for us, please. 844-774-3529. If you need help in the area of personal injury, uh, criminal defense, immigration law, real estate law, business law, and more, make it Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. 844-774-3529. And also the website is PPID Law. Is it PPID.com or PPIDlaw.com, gentlemen? PPID.com. PPID.com. Thank you so much, Nelson. Thank you so much, Conrad, for doing a wonderful show as usual. We'll catch up with you again on Monday morning at 9.30 a.m. Same time, same place, same Batcave. All right. All right. Thank you all so much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in.